It's Shalom. I want to start off saying, Call La Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wachakudash. Let me give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for just our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thamashana Kabbalah, Allah has crammed to Allah, which means give about honors to the elders of Israel, who just the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach you well. Shalom wa hala wa khiya, Shalom Allah, which means peace and love to the lecker of Israel. Come again with another lesson. This is the Buddha Anah from the JMS Memphis camp. You know, the lesson will be on this article. And what you see on the screen now is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shot Man, who is a so called black man from the tribe of Judah, who come back to save his people, which are Israelites, which consists of your so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you know? The kingdom of heaven is for us, you know, if you were Israelites, you know? And you have so, it was like foreigners who've been scattered amongst the nations who may look like the other nations, who may look like so-called Japanese people, Chinese people, Arabs, Africans, so-called white people, but if your spirit goes back to Israelite, the kingdom of heaven is for you, so repent. The kingdom of heaven is a hand. But going again through this article, man, no <laughs> Lord really be edified. This article comes from RT News. Oh. It said, end game for America. The end game for America. Dollar, literally a bomb that could go off in a day. Once Peter on Skiff, I'm saying that right. And it will publish August 19th, 2020, year of prophecy, man. So the end game for America, man. You know? It said the scale of money printing in the United States is unprecedented, says veteran stock booker Peter Skiff. The deficiencies are through the roof, and the government is spending more money than ever before. You know, it says Skiff, who is a CEO of Euro Pacific Capital, told the money show that more than 60 cents out of every dollar the government is spending is being printed. You know? Is being printed, so the Federal Reserve is printing more money for the government to spend than the U.S. government is collecting taxes, man. So the more money they print, you know, print print money is basically new money, man. And when people and when they um and when people spend new money, man, prices goes up. You know, prices goes up. So when prices go up, you uh, you can afford um. You can buy less things, you know. Not because you got um less money, you know. It's just because the um the value of the money, you know, is it, less. It's less valuable, man. So the government is pre- printing more money, man, than before. You know, it said the he he said the myth is that the U.S. economy was strong before COVID. It wasn't strong at all. It was the weakest it has ever been. It was the biggest bubble that has ever existed. That's why the economy imploded so quickly as a result of COVID-19 lockdown. The air started coming out in the fourth quarter of 2018, and the dollar is being wiped out, man. So this meaning, basically, COVID-19 was not the problem, man. You know? It was never the problem, man. You know? So basically, man, hey, so this was bound to happen anyway, man, from them um, bagging out the gold and bagging out real money because the dollar is not bagged up at anything, man. Gold is real money. Silver is real money, you know. And this China, you know, Russia, China, you know, they, hey, <laughs> they could be the new currency, man. This, hey, they're going to be the new currency, man. Gold in China, man. Why do you think gold is 2000 Going up to 2000 man. Making history, man. You know? So, wait. So, the dollar's being wiped out, man. So, what is the real money then, man? What are you people, you Americans, going to use for money? You know? They're already trying to make a cashless society, you know? I'm going to continue going on this article, man. It's a uh, skiff's point out 
the everything that the U.S. government did in the aftermath of the 2018 financial crisis was a mistake. All of it monetary monetary policy was wrong. All of its fiscal policy was wrong. It's a consequence. We never actually recovered from the crisis, which caused by the Fed and the government, which sim- simply made all the problems that caused the crisis worse. You know, so COVID nineteen was never the problem, man. It said, uh, "America's is about to experience inflation of a unprecedented scale, man." So let's look this word unprecedented. Unprecedented. It said, "Never done unknown before, man." That basically what it means. Never done unknown before, man. You know. So America about to experience inflation of an unprecedented scale. He said, the cost of living is going to skyrocket. And it's going to happen very quickly. It's going to hit people like a ton of bricks. And they are not going to see this coming. Right? The masses people of Americans, the U.S. citizens, not going to see this coming. Because why? They not watching, man. You know? They not watching for prophecy, man. And through the spirit power of the Lord, Yahweh Shemar Shai, the Lord bring this economy down, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, man. Pretty soon, physically, man. You know, the cost of living on the skyrocket, man. Because the dollar is about, is about to be wiped out. Dealt, you know. Look at this shit, man. You know, usdeltclock.org, you know. Look at this. That's a... <laughs> Hey, that's a hell of a number, man. You know? That's a hell of a number right there, man. All of this, man. U.S. totally dealt, man. God damn. You know? You niggas talking about school opening. But, hey, student loan, man. Plus student. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. This place is coming to end. This, hey, this the new normal, man. You know? Prepare, just prepare yourself that the dollar is about to be wiped out, man. You still got niggas saving um, money in a shoebox, man. You know, you still have that. So he said, he said he's going to hit people like a ton of bricks, and they are not going to see this coming. More people would be blindsided by the dollar crisis than by the financial crisis, and the dollar crisis is much worse. You know, it said because we, when we had a financial crisis, the Fed was able to print dollars to bail everybody out. When you have a dollar crisis, that doesn't matter anymore. You can't print dollars because nobody wants them, right? So this is what's gonna happen, man. The dollar's about to be done away with, man. You know, you got Trump. You know, the the uh, the biggest spinner of all times, man. You know? So infl- inflation, man, it's going to go up, man. Taxes will go up, which which is inflation, you know? That's what inflation basically is. It's um, an, uh, an expensive uh, of the money supply, man, which is a tax on the people, you know? So right, man. So right. You know, in, in this crisis, crisis would be much worse than the uh, Great Depression, man. You know, so everyone gonna be suffering, man. Even to your uh, to your celebrities, man. You know, even to your celebrities gonna be suffering. Man. It gonna be like an even uh, playing field, man. And your uh, only way, uh, option to get the money back, you know, <laughs> to we up, as you say. Hey, you gonna take that chip, the RFID biker chip, the mark of the beast, man. They're gonna be the new currency, man. Basically, man. You know. Revelation 13 and 16. You know, so basically said you can't print dollars because nobody want them. He explained that would be a a uh, so so sovereign debt crisis, which means U.S. Treasuries are going to go bad as well as all debts denominated in U.S. dollars. You know, it said the dollar is going to fall through the floor and inflation is going to ravish the United States. 
He predicted adding what about to happen is that the war is going to go off the dollar standard and go back to gold standard. That is where we are headed, you know. So the war is going back to a gold standard. It's the U.S. dollar is about to collapse. So that's why gold going up, man. Hey, the dollar decreasing and the gold is increasing, man. It said the current system doesn't work. You can't bag your currency with an unbacked currency. The entire American economy is built on the foundation of the dollar being the world's reserve currency. That is the secret source that makes the economy work. Once the dollar is just another currency, then it's all over. It's the end of the game. It's so like it's the end of the game for America. You know? The dollar could collapse any day. It is like literally a bump. The key is to get money out of the US dollar because it it's the dollar that is going to be collapsing, man. So right, man, and this is a article for RT News. End game for America. You know, the dollar hey, the dollar's about to be wiped out, man. This is the end game, man. You know? How about to assist? So now all these take up a, pa- a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increases increase it, that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid himself with thick clay. Now let's go into this word clay. Strong's H5671 Avtit. Avtit. Heavy depths. <laughs> heavy depths, man. You go into the word clay, it means heavy depths. And I just brought out the uh the delt. You know? I bring that back up, man. The depth clock, man. Heavy fucking delt B, you know? Heavy delt, man, you know? It's like you for that, man, you know? But, hey, th- this it, man, you know? So America is finished, you know? America is finished, man. Isaiah 24, 10. It said, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man might come in, you know? The place is being broken down spiritually, you know, economically, you know, we're soon physically, man. Was was gonna lead to your mental because you're not gonna be able to buy your drugs, your medica- your medication, you know, prescription. So you people gonna bug out, you know. Like basically, the whole world is on drugs, man. You know where you uh, um doing cocaine, smoking, you know, or you just um prescribe, you know, for, um for the um, doctors or whatever, man. So you your mental about to go up, man. You know, people are going to be bugged out once they can't uh, get their drugs, man. People are going to lose it, man. So, it's, hey, oh, chaos, man. This is what's going to come. Chaos, man. Evils, man. You know? Because the place is being broke down, man. This is the city of confusion. Babylon the Great. America, man. You know? This is ever 9 one eleven. It said, how are you inhabitants of Maktesh for all the Muslim people are cut down? You know, and Maktesh uh, is on uh, uh, the Monday Wall Street, man. You know? You know? I get an on scripture on that. Ecclesiastes 12, get straight to the point. Ecclesiastes 12, 3. And the day when the keepers of the house should tremble. Who are the keepers of the house? These fin- um, bankers, man. Financial bankers, man. So they are trembling. They seen the place uh economy uh, crashing, the dollar collapse. You know, they are trembling, man. You know? It's saying a strong man should battle themselves and the grind grinders cease because they are few, right? The apl- unemployment rate is going up, man. You know? Inflation, man. You know? So people ain't hiring no more, man. The place is finished. The keepers of the house. Uh, should tremble, the strong men should battle themselves, the grinders cease because they are few. It said no work for Egypt. 
I think in the book of uh, Isaiah, the 19th chapter, you know, no work for Egypt, man. It said, and those that look out the windows be darkened, right? Those that look out the windows be darkened, man, meaning to the future, man. You thinking this place will bounce back, man, you know? You thinking uh, 2021 is going to be your year now, man. America is going to be uh, bounce back, man. Hey, you're going to be darkened, man. You're going to be sad. You're going to be confused, you know? So Zephaniah 111, it said, How are the inhabitants of Matesh? How, you know? For all the mushroom people are cut down all day that build silver are cut off, man. Right, man. This place has come to an end, man. You know? Hey, let me get this second edge, man. Second edge 16 and 21. Behold, victuals should be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in a good case. Right? Why you think that's just um, giving you people stimulus check, man? You know, you think you think they will give you a stimulus check with gold or silver, man? No, man. They give you monopoly money, man. So this place is finished, you know? And people think they're good, man. What What is Jake doing with his stimulus check, man? You know, he in, um, buying more gun, buying more Jordan, you know? He not investing in gold, you know? He, hey, this place is finished, man. So they think they're good, man. Their milk is good, you know? That they should think themselves to be in good case. And even then, so evils go upon the earth, right? Evil's going to come, man. It said, uh, like the dude just said in, in the article, he going to hit them for uh, like a uh, ton, ton of bricks, you know? A blind side, man. You know? Because evil's going to come, man. You know? People are going to lose their mind. People are going to bug out. That's why I say wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the times, you know? So evil's going to grow upon the earth, war, famine, and great confusion, man, because of this inflation, you know? Famine, food shortages, you should be seeing that now. And great confusion, because they don't know what the hell going on. You know, they opened back the uh, um, NBA, you know, the playoffs, you know? So people are going to confuse, man. Those that look out the window should be darkened, man. It said, For men of them that dwell upon the earth should perish of famine, and the other that escaped the hunger should have sword destroyed. You know? It said in the book of Lamentations, it's better to be slain with this sword than die of famine. You know? So, right. You know? It said, And the dead should be cast out as a dung, and there should be no man to comfort them. Comfort them, man. It said, They should neither be buried nor lamented. Lord, will I grab that? You know? It said, for the earth, for the earth should be wasted and the cities should be cast down, you know? So, right, man. America, Babylon, the Great, it's, it's finished. It's done, you know? It's done, man. So, jump down to um 18. Oh, it's 17. And I will bring distress upon man and they... And that they should walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. You no, know, Lord sending them strong delusion, man. That's what I say in the book of Isaiah 31 and 1. Let's grab that. Isaiah 31 and 1. It's like you. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know, woe. Woe means destructs, you know. And stay on horses and, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek the Lord. Right. You know, they, they not seeking the Lord. How much am I shine this time, man? They just count on this stimulus check to come again. The second wave of, of the stimulus check, man. Hey, America can't afford it, man. Hey, America can't afford another shutdown. You know? Hey, business, business man. They can't afford that, man. Inflation, man. They can't afford none of that, man. So evil gonna come. You know, Jacob troubled, man. You know? It said, And I will bring distress upon man that they should walk like blind man because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood should be poured out as dust, and their flesh is to dunk, you know? So, right. Hey, let me grab your mind real quick.
at Jeremiah 14, 11, then said the Lord, you have a shout unto me, pray not for this people for their good, you know? So the Lord just told her not to pray for you when this stuff happened, man. In the time of your calamities, man. You know? I'm jumping down to um, 14. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets, prophets that lie in my name, I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. The prophets are you a, a, a false vision and a divination and a thing of mouth and a deceit of their heart. Right, man. You know, a false vision, man, that, hey, 2020 was going to be your year. Now they're saying 2021 going to be your year. Amen. Ain't even fucking 2021 yet, man. Lord, we don't, we don't even see 2021, man, nor 2022, man. But you know prophecy going to come, man. Hey, this place don't have another five years, man. I don't want to see it, man. You know? I don't want to see it at all, man. But Lord, we're like, the Lord keep the spell on me to endure. If, if, you know, Lord forbid, it don't happen in five years, you know. You got to endure to the end no matter what. But right, these false pro um, prophets, man. These false pastors, you know. They're saying, uh, hey, let me keep going, man. They say on uh, the deceit of their heart, you know. They prophesy you smooth things, man. Hey, peace coming, man. You know? Uh, 15. Therefore, thus said the Lord, concerning the prophets that prophesied my name, I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine should not be in this land. By sword and famine should those prophets be consumed. Right? Because war and the famine is coming. You know? And the people to whom the prophets, it's like it, and the people to whom they um, prophesied should be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. And they... And they shall have none to bury them. Them their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. And this of the Lord doing. This I will pour my wickedness upon them, man. Cause famine, great um, great tribulation is coming, man. You know, it says, Should I be even and sinning and the Lord had not done it, you know? So what it said, Therefore thou shalt say in this world unto them, Let my eyes wander down with tears night and day, and let them not cease for the Virgin daughter, my people is broken with a great breach, with a um, very grievous blow. And, you know, that's the point. You know, that, yeah, that's pretty much the point, man. You know, because trouble is coming, man. Hey, first Thessalonians 5 and 1. It's a bit of times in the season, brother, man. Ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh shall so shall come as a thief in the night. You know, the Lord come as a thief, it's a night. It's a blessing of those that watch, you know, that keep their garments, you know. For three, for when they shall say peace and safety, the sudden destruction come upon them, right? Sudden destruction is going to come, man. It's a travail upon a woman with child, and they should not escape. So, hey, we got to keep watching, man. That's why I say in six, therefore let us not sleep. It do others, but let us watch and be sober, man. Watch unto praying, man. You know? So, hey, that's pretty much uh, the point, man. You know, this lesson, man, that America is, is finished, man. You know? Oh, let me finish Zephaniah. I'm not close. Zephaniah um, 118. It's a neither they save or nor they go, you know, because you got these rich Edomites, you know, or rich people, you know, in the on um, gold stocks, you know, buying the gold and stuff, you know. But it said neither that silver nor that gold should be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land should be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he should make even a speedy readiness of all them that dwell in the land, man. So white right, man, cause the Lord is coming back to judge the place, man. The Lord don't care about your money, man, about the gold, you know. None of that, man. So the Lord's wrath is coming, man. Let's close on Isaiah 46, man, and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done. So the Lord said, declaring the end from the beginning. He says, it's the end of the world of Jacob. It's the beginning of it that follow it. You know, Jacob, the Israelites. He said, my counsel should stand prophecy, and I will do all my pleasure, man. You know, so Lord, we're going to you edify. Once again, we we'll give our praises and the glory to Yahweh by Shema Ashai, by Zephyr Chakudash. The honors to the apostles and elders of great ministers, don't teach you well. You know, and peace and love to the lack of Israel with that. Shalom. Kwam Nashallah. Wa Ababam.